In the last decade, the automotive community has been eagerly anticipating a revolution. Mercedes-Benz surprised everyone by creating a groundbreaking engine. How does it work? When will it be produced? Let's delve into the revolutionary axial flow engine from Mercedes. It has left the industry astonished. Chapter 1 The History Mercedes-Benz holds a significant place in automotive history, creating the first genuine car, the Benz Patent Motor Car, model number 1, in 1886. Since then, it has been a symbol of desire and prestige. Regardless of our financial situation, we all aspire to own a Mercedes. It's not just about the long tradition, Mercedes consistently challenges itself to innovate. Surprisingly, the first autonomous vehicle wasn't a Tesla, but an experimental Mercedes-Benz W114250 automatic developed 55 years ago. Interesting, isn't it? Speaking of innovations, the first authentic supercar didn't come from Ferrari or Lamborghini, it was the Mercedes-Benz 300SL. In my opinion, the 300SL is incredibly beautiful. Its design is the essence of elegance mixed with sportiness. And those gullwing doors? They are simply a masterpiece. Like in the past, Mercedes-Benz aims to lead the automotive future. Dedication and innovation define the brand. After years of research and development, they have once again innovated. So, it's time to delve into and understand how this new engine, born out of so much dedication, really works. Chapter 2 Competitors and Motives Mercedes surprised the automotive world again by unveiling its axial flow engine. This innovation, though electric, significantly differs from the traditional electric motors we are accustomed to seeing in Tesla vehicles and older Mercedes models. The major distinction lies in the internal arrangement. The axial flow engine has the space between its rotor and stator aligned parallel to the axis of rotation. This contrasts with the regular radial space motor, where the magnetic flow between rotor and stator is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. This structural difference earned the axial engine the nickname pancake motor due to its slender silhouette, contrasting with the cylindrical shape of radial motors. Historically, the industry favored radial engines because they were more cost-effective for mass production, containing fewer magnets than pancake motors. However, the axial flow engine design offers notable advantages. It has significantly higher torque thanks to its rotating element located on the outer diameter, yielding up to 40% more torque compared to an equivalent radial engine. For electric vehicles, torque is crucial, and having it in excess is always an advantage. Another striking feature of axial engines is their superior cooling capacity. This ensures they don't overload even after intense use. Here's where Yasa comes in, a British manufacturer specializing in axial flow engines. Founded in 2009, the company has been researching and developing this technology for years. In 2015, its engine powered an electric car that set records at Pike's Peak Climb. This feat did not go unnoticed, piquing the interest of Ferrari, which later collaborated with Yasa on a secret project. Nine years later, this partnership materialized in the Ferrari SF90 Stradial, the world's first hybrid supercar. The SF90 is equipped with three Yasa axial engines and a powerful twin-turbo V8 4.0, totaling an impressive 1,000 horsepower. However, the SF90's high starting price, over $500,000, makes it a limited production car. Mercedes-Benz, recognizing the untapped potential of Yasa, made a strategic decision. In 2021, it acquired Yasa, funding the development of axial flow batteries tailored to the manufacturer's needs. This means that soon, axial flow motor technology will be available for ordinary vehicles. And, as typical of Mercedes, it will pioneer its commercialization. 
The big question everyone is asking now is, when will this technological marvel go into production? The anticipation might be thrilling, but knowing Mercedes' track record, expectations are high. Chapter 3 Worldwide Impact Mercedes-Benz, a globally recognized brand, has taken a giant step in automotive evolution. It recently announced that it has started production of an innovation, the Axial Flow Engine. And, to mark this evolution, it unveiled the Mercedes-Benz Vision 111. This machine is not just a car, it's a statement of intent from the brand. It's as if Mercedes looked at its glorious past, specifically at the legendary Mercedes-Benz C111, and decided to pay homage to it. The C111, in its time, was a game-changer, and now, the Vision 111 promises to follow in those footsteps. What stands out most in the external design? It's impossible not to notice the Goldwing style doors. This type of door has always been synonymous with elite sports cars, and many enthusiasts hope to see it in modern Mercedes. Add to that the vibrant orange hue, reminiscent of the C111, and we have a visually spectacular combination. The interior, on the other hand, is a revolution in itself. Imagine stepping into a vehicle and feeling like you're in a spaceship. That's the promised sensation. Silver finished seats with meticulous details transport occupants into an almost intergalactic experience. And we wonder, could this be a car of the future that Rick Deckard from the Blade Runner series would choose? The company proudly states that the Vision 111 is pioneering something, being the first sports car with a lounge-style interior. It's luxury and comfort combined with power. And speaking of power, although Mercedes still keeps the exact numbers under wraps, it drops a few hints. The axial flow engine, responsible for moving this marvel, promises performance similar to competition cars. All this in a compact engine. This compactness has a clear advantage, a reduction in the total weight of the vehicle. Less weight, combined with the promised power, means an agile car capable of gliding through curves without losing stability. The physics behind this is fascinating. Weight distribution and the center of gravity work together to give the Vision 111 unprecedented drivability. And if that wasn't impressive enough, the powertrain wouldn't face significant overload. Axial flow engines are efficient. In a world constantly seeking autonomy in electric vehicles, this is news we've all been waiting for. Now, you might be wondering about the exclusivity of this car. The Vision 111 will be rare, with only 111 units produced. An extremely limited edition, making it a true gem in the automotive world. Finally, recognition for Mercedes-Benz is necessary. It not only listens to its audience, but anticipates desires and sets trends. The Vision 111 is a testament to that. However, it's worth noting that, for now, the use of the Axial Flow engine will be exclusive to this model. Others, like the Mercedes-Benz EQS, will continue with traditional engines, proving that every innovation has its time and place. Chapter 4 of Conclusions of the X The realm of mechanical engineering is fraught with challenges, and the Axial Flow Engine is no exception. This innovation boasts two distinctive peculiarities. Firstly, its design with one stator and two rotors creates a pair of air gaps. In contrast, the more conventional radial flow engine features only one. These multiple separations introduce additional complexity, the need to control performance uniformly. The result? An engine that, initially, would generate more noise, vibration, and roughness than the traditional radial counterpart. However, what many perceive as a limitation in Yas's axial flow engine is, interestingly, its major highlight. The absence of a shaft in the stator allows for tripling power density compared to a similarly sized radial engine. 
This design enables the stator to be strategically positioned in the center, leveraging interaction with both rotor discs. Efficiency here is notable, as it minimizes power and torque losses. Now, this unique feature of the axial flow engine comes with a series of manufacturing challenges. Traditionally, the stator shaft plays a crucial role in keeping stator parts securely connected. Without it, production demands significant adaptations. Unfortunately, these adjustments raise costs, compromising the economic attractiveness of the axial engine. Mercedes, however, sees beyond these obstacles. With an innovative perspective, the company is committed to refining and popularizing this technology. The ambitious plan is to adopt the axial engine across its lineup of electric cars. Clearly, this requires time and strategy. Given that Mercedes is a newcomer to the electric sector, it does not intend to make abrupt changes to its newer models. The strategy is one of progressive incorporation. The Vision 111 is the chosen model to initiate this journey. It is in this vehicle that Mercedes will test and optimize this revolutionary engine. Considering the company's logical steps, after solidifying the technology in the Vision 111, the next step would likely be its implementation in high-end electric supercars, possibly following the iconic Mercedes-AMG One line. Following this phase, the axial engine would be introduced in more affordable vehicles, culminating in its adoption across all electric models from the manufacturer. In summary, although the axial flow engine is still in development and presents challenges, it promises to revolutionize the electric car segment. Expectations are high, and the automotive industry is watchful. The future appears promising for this technology, and the eagerness to see its widespread application, whether in Mercedes models or in vehicles from other major brands, is palpable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, turning on notifications, because I post new videos every day. See you in the next one.